Hello everyone, my name is Lily and we are going to be playing Alan Wake. The second one came out recently and I have still not played the first one, so we are going to just get into it. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. Look up to the light. Mouse turns the camera. Uh, reverse your controls? No. You can change camera settings in, yep, okay. Yep. Uh-huh. We're just doing tutorial stuff. Checkpoint reached. If it, it feels really weird that he's not in the center of my screen. I guess we're just gonna have to animal it because I don't know. Uh, I, I guess that's part that's part of what's happening. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. I apologize if my voice sounds a bit rough. The weather has changed dramatically over here. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. And I may be getting sick? Oh, okay. So we can collect thermoses. Cool, cool. I always love a, a good mug or thermos collection. That's always fun to have. I mean, it's, it's obvious we're going this way, right? Yeah, oh, oh my god, I might have to turn down the sensitivity because this is, this is so, so sensitive. Give me a sec. How does this feel? I put it a little closer, but I think maybe I want to keep it uh, zoomed out. Yeah, okay, if I feel, if I feel like this uh, FOV is a bit weird for me, I'll change it. Missing? Isn't that, isn't that us? I don't have you seen this I don't know all right enough dawdling let's let's get on the road Alan oh my goodness Alan wake the kitty's missing no the sudden stop and Alex Casey thriller okay so that's our book oh uh oh wait is a flashlight Oh, you don't oh. even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? <laughs> you oh, think God. you can just make up stuff? <laughs> Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? <gasps> oh, boy. Okay, easy, easy. You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. Hmm. You're in this. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. 
It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Is that a character from one of our books, son? He's, uh, he's pretty crazy. Holy shit. But it also seems like- You missed your deadline! Uh-oh. You can dodge enemy attacks. Damn. Shift. You can't stop me! Try it again? No, oh, no! Good work. Successful dodges sometimes highlighted with cinematic. I realized was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh. Seems like our boy has imposter syndrome, huh? And uh, his character is really laying it into him. Checkpoint reached. This, I thought that this was shining, but I guess not. I have a feeling this is going to be so fun. Oh! Feel to die by the hands of your own creation. Oh shit! Oh sh okay. We, we gotta go. Holy shit! I kind of want to turn around to look at it, but I also don't want to die. We're just gonna, just gonna run. This is a, it's a, definitely a tornado behind us. Oh my god, please! Do we not have stamina? Why are we going so slow? Oh my god. I'm holding down shift. Uh oh. Oh. This way, oh. this way! I'm coming as fast as I can, but my legs seem to be broken. Hurry! Oh my god, oh my, I'm trying my best, sir. It's not going good. Hello. You're gonna. Well, there goes that. This is just a dream. It's weak, it's me. Play steward, remember? Quickly, get inside! There's no time to lose! Wait, is it actually coming after us? It's coming! Inside now! Eh. Questionable, I guess. Oh no! No, don't kill you! Stop! No! No! God damn it, die! No! 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 No, 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 no! no. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Oh god, he's so, so terrifying. I was trapped. There was no way out. Oh, this is so scary. I don't want to. Oh they're all looking at me. Oh my god. Hinged and I actually love it. But I. Oh, geez. the cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. I'm assuming this door, right? It's not letting me. Oh my god. Where? Where else am I supposed to go? I can't go back out here. Oh god. We. we oh my god. We took a lot of damage. Oh. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the story. We're fine. I I think I could have skipped taking all that damage though, right? You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh. Okay. Focus. We're gonna focus on the light? This reminds me of Soma. Stay in the safe haven until you're completely healed. Okay, so that's how we heal. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Oh. Oh. It's... Oh. That's really helpful. I like that. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The most important thing? The has been taken over by the dark presence. 
You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn oh. your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. This is so cool. Oh. Oh. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Okay. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> That is all. <laughs> oh, it wasn't? A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Boost all of the... Take on night course of light education. Boosting the light with the button. Blinds enemies and burns darkness away faster. Okay. I thought it was the lighthouse talking to us, but it was something else. Rest in this way, and now I'm gonna That's right. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! He... he's gonna keep coming. We gotta get the heck out of here. Cause he is not gonna stop. Oh <laughs> lord! He's going to just keep coming. We got it. We got to go. Tap R to reload faster. Okay. Open. Is this a gift? Emergency. Flare gun. Use one to switch through. Okay. Do I need the flare right now then? Or... Okay, I got you. We can only hold three of the flares as well. We need You're to. Dead. Just like. Wait, there's too many. There's too many. Y'all gotta chill. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it. <laughs> okay. We, we gotta run. Holy shit. Okay, so... Do, do we have stamina? Oh, we just, just go, just go, just go. He's behind us. Just go, we can make it to the light. And we'll be okay in the light. Right? Oh god, it's gone. Can you though? Can I? Oh lord. Okay, we just gotta run. Now we're actually running things. Oh, yes. <gasps> okay, how am I supposed to see? Oh god. We're not running anymore. Come on. Look. Okay. Let's just take it easy, because if we start to panic, that'll be the end of that. Why am I not running as fast as I was now? It's okay. Well, I guess we're still making it. I am, of course, as is tradition, playing on the easiest mode, so hopefully. We will have a bit of leeway on our side as I try and adapt and get used to this game and how it plays. Cannot guarantee anything though. Okay, thank god we made it at least. So cool. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. 
everything is a little crusty, but I still love it. This game is pretty old, but I'm cool with it. Oh, that looks so nice. Welcome to Bright Falls. What an introduction, holy shit. This is so quaint, I love it. Checkpoint reached. This is giving me huge, um, the Evil Within vibes as well, sort of how everything is playing. And I really liked the Evil Within 1 and 2, so I have... I don't want to get my hopes Let's up. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. But I have high sure. hopes. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Wait, where am I supposed to? Oh, by the old man. This guy? This guy's not that old. Hi. Hello. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. That's kind of rude. Enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I mean, I kind of get it, but Alan, that was that was kind of rude of how you put it. Could have delivered that a little softer. This is... They're coming here for vacation. This seems like such a... an outlandish place. But I guess... I mean... Could definitely come and take a vacation at a place like this. It looks pretty nice, but I hope that they're not expecting like a five-star hotel and resort because I don't think they're gonna find it here. Am I supposed to be doing anything? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones, and I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, I think it's going to take me some time to get used to the camera because the camera's a bit uh, finicky. Can I actually switch the position? I'd like for him to be on the other side. I'm going to take a look. Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. If there is a way that I can change his position from being on the right hand of Muscarine to the left hand, I, I didn't find it, so if y'all know out there, if y'all know how to change it, let me know, because this is, feels really weird to have him on this side. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Something bad gonna happen to her? 
I'd forgotten there were still places like this. <laughs> Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. The sudden stop an international bestseller. Okay. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> That's actually horrifying. But, uh, okay, so I- I'm wrong, Mr. Wake. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> Good. I guess he doesn't want to talk anymore. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <gasps> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Someone is peeking over there into the bathroom areas. That's that looks very suspicious. Okay, so he's here at the small little coastal town for some R and R, and maybe even for writer's walk. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Uh, and if that's the case, then that makes a lot of sense, because uh, sometimes to get reinvigorated with your writing, you got to go to locations, right? Welcome to Bright Falls, the home of annual uh, the annual Deer Fest. Okay. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. <laughs> Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> I could have sworn that these guys were like hardcore you bikers. Put the in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Oh my god, no. No, actually, no. Hold on. Okay, I probably it shouldn't have done that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Sir, as much as I would love to, I feel like I would get a copyright strike, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna deny that. Hello? Are you okay? It's a little old, old lady. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. I understand, but Alan's just a little bit rude. I'm gonna let him slide, cause he's the protagonist. But oh. Oh, never mind. I got a little spooked. But I shouldn't have. Hello. Mr. Stucky? The cutscenes are always so dark, but then like, oh god. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, she's just a normal lady, but the, her her presentation was so scary. Cauldron I thought... Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I thought she was like death come to whisper in our ear. I really, I really thought that she was someone scary, but she's just a little old lady. Ma'am, you had me spooked for no reason at all. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Well, thank you for your concern, ma'am, but I'm a big kid, I hope. 
Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. They're they're calling me Tom? That's fine. I really wish that I could do the, the jukebox, but... They're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered oh. off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'll leave the diner. My goodness. Oh, I'll be. Bye, Mr. Wade. Oh no. Uh, I. I hope okay, you I, enjoy your stay in Bright Fall. I need to go slower because I'm skipping dialogue. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights just in case. Oh. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, shit. What happened to him? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> oh my god, now that lady really has me spooked. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Hmm. That is writer's block then. I have a feeling I probably should have turned down the music. So if there, if you at any point just don't hear anything at all, it's probably because I had to take it out for copyright. It's really hard to tell nowadays, especially with these older games. It's fine. We're doing. We're going through some growing wow. pains. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. This is actually really nice. Like, holy shit, I wasn't expecting this. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. I would have to agree, but I'm sure that something bad is gonna happen, so that that kinda sucks, but this is gorgeous. I would I would love to come here. There's a, a lot of crows here for some reason. Bird leg cabin? I love it. Are you coming? Oh my god, she's so friggin' slow with the actual heck. I thought my legs were broken, her legs are definitely broken. Oh, she's carrying heavy luggage though. Why are we not helping her? I'm so sorry for not helping you. Okay, well, she doesn't seem to care. I, I kind of wish that there was like a barbecue or something over here. Can you imagine that? Barbecuing out here? Um, I'm getting hungry. Maybe I should have eaten something before I sat down for this. You ready? She's mad at me. She's not saying anything anymore. Look, I'm sorry. This is that a, like an alligator skin thing? That's that's pretty hardcore. Damn. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, but I want to look at that hut. Don't tell me this is where we got to go potty. Cause I'm going to be upset. I don't want to come out in the middle of the night to have to go poo or something like that. Oh, no, it's just a lock shed. I feel like I can go. I don't see anything. I'm looking through this tiny- oh! There is something in there. Okay. Well, I don't want to keep my love really- uh, and there's a cellar. Wait, what was that? Examine? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. 
You're looking at this dead ass stump and you're thinking about a love story? Well, I guess authors can find inspiration in the most mundane of things. Come on, honey, get the door open so we can get a look inside. I apologize. It's a nice jacket he's wearing, though. Come on. Oh. Is it? What is happening? Hello? It's oh. dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. That's why she bought flashlights because she's terrified of the dark. Okay. Examine. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Exit. Why would? I'm so spooked because the guy who was supposed to give us the keys was apparently conked out and he couldn't give us the keys. And some lady in mourning clothes decided to do it instead. It's so creepy. I, I'm really loving the atmosphere of this though. Everything seems so cozy and so quaint. I know that's not going to remain that way, but... The oh, cabin this... looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier. This is so nice. We got cottage core going on hardcore over here. For a oh. moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Oh. See, what did I say? Damn. Is she death coming for us? I mean, death is I coming. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Is it going to give me the option to explore later, or should I just do it now? Is that a diving suit? It's like from old AS times. Is yes, there... Oh, this is such a nice view. Oh my god, I would have been terrified driving down that, though. Is there anything else here for me? But at least we know that we're looking for a uh, fuse box or something. That should probably be in the kitchen, right? It's not outside. There's I miss this. That's a calendar. Oh, it's 1970. Wait. But didn't he say it was a time capsule from the 70s? So I guess the calendar is just there and it's not actually the 1970s. Okay, so if I want to go through doors, I just got to run at them. That was that. It's nothing. Okay, we're looking for a fuse box. I don't see anything. Is it going to be outside then? Oh, the back door is open. That's kind of scary. A radio? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist. No! Less. no! So we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, well, hello, Rose. Oh, no. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. Oh. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. <laughs> well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. Wait, can I turn it off? Great. I can't. So much for keeping a low profile. Okay, so I'm assuming that that small thing that we have. Yes. Because I just saw it while we were listening to the radio. Is this the fuse box? No. Put that power on. Do I gotta break in? Okay, hold on, hold on. Is there any doors on this? Oh. I saw the open window and I was like, can I jump through it? I might have to. Right? It's definitely not letting me in any other way. And I don't have a gun. How do I... Okay, I'm a little... I gotta press that. Do I throw something at it? Why am I... I'm, I'm referring to a lot of aggressive behavior to be able to do this. Mm. It's not... I can't jump. What am I? I'm definitely missing something. What am I missing here? There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Yeah, but I don't know how to get into the shed. I think that's my problem at the moment. 
Yeah, this is the door. An old oh generator my God. had been connected to the power cable. Oh, I am. I'm so dumb. The, the whole, because look at this. It'll, there's a lock on that one there. There's like a pipe on that one too. Like, I don't understand what the heck is going on in here. The texturing. What they'd be like. The texturing is just a little off. Because I'm just going to have to be stupid for a while as we figure shit out. Oh, here's the door. I'm just gonna. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. That's why he thought of the love story. I'm glad I took the time to look around because it's not. It was a beautiful me. place. The time to do it now. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. She's sweet. I thought we could be happy here. Return to Alice. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I want to keep going just a little longer because I'm actually having so much fun, even though I'm having a hard time adjusting. That looks like a really shoddy patch-up job. Can I? I cannot. I can't even interact with it. There's definitely a cellar, though, because there's a window there. I mean, not a cellar, a basement. Basement? Yeah. Cellar... So isn't a cellar and a basement, like, similar? I don't know. There's a rocking horse that I missed. Is there anything else that I've missed? Alice? Honey? Okay, I'm gonna go look for her, but I wanted to read the titles of this. The Temple of the Shadow... Of Shadow and Mist, the Labyrinth of Me in Her Dreams to Prevail and Kept from Sleep. That seems a little foreboding. Did she not close the door? Well, I didn't close it either, so I can't really blame her. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh my god, please don't be in your underwear. How am I supposed to censor that? Oh, okay, okay. It's fine. She's in like loungewear. Well, it's not Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. That's actually really cute. I like that. A typewriter. Surprise. Alice, what is this? Oh. I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. That's why so we're now here. you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Oh. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Dude. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Holy shit, dude. <gasps> Not everybody is trying to pressure you into working again. She was only trying to be helpful. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? I know she's gone. Alice? And you are not going to get her back. Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. It's ominous. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, I need what to dodge those. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I I'm spooked. Alice. Alice. Oh shit. A goddamn back door. Wait, what? Oh no. Keep going, Alan. Alan! Wake up, Alice. What is happening? Wait, we're in the car. Uh, waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Okay. I thought he was underwater. I couldn't remember how I got there, 
All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Holy shit. But Okay, so he clearly- oh my god. Oh my god. It's a damn good thing that you got stuck here, dude. Look at that drop. You would have been dead. Holy shit. Wait. Examine. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. All right, well, it's clearly that he's moody and upset. Okay, we gotta be careful because I have a feeling that's gonna kill us. We the gotta... gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Reach the gas station. Okay. I, uh, wow, I got a lot of questions. Damn. Focus? <gasps> no! It's a good thing that he woke up when he did, because he would have been dead. Uh, I have a feeling that Alice is dead as well. If not, she's trapped in an another world. Did she get easy? <laughs> oh, that's. I hate that I'm making this joke, but I hope that she's in another world and she's not dead, because that'll be absolutely horrifying. Because they had an argument and she died. Hello? Oh, the light! Oh God, should we be going into it? It's so bright. Hello. Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. You found manuscript pages. You can access them with the F5 button. Okay. Uh, do we read it then? Title page. Departure by Alan Wake. Okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Okay, so we got a lot of collection, not a lot so far, but we got enough collections that I'm gonna be disappointing everybody. Cause I know I'm not gonna find all of them. I really know that I'm not gonna find all of them. Oh my god, I actually feel like I'm lost in the woods. This is so... Oh no. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Please... Okay, so what if he killed her and he doesn't remember that? That would be really devastating. Checkpoint reached. It's okay. We're on our way. It's, it's really close. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh, where? Oh my god, I don't even know where the gas station is. Okay, well this is obviously a logging situation. Maybe we'll be okay? Oh, we got, we're gonna have to break and enter, huh? Okay, that's not something I can pick up, right? Okay. Caution, hazardous environment. All visitors must visit site office. Uh, a caution, employees must wear protective... I were at all times. We, could, I, we have no other choice. Just gonna have to do it. Working and entering. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Please help me. I'm lost and confused hey. in the woods. Hey, you! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, I need to. Cabins for rent in. Oh, oh, Lord. oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Wait. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Oh no. Where's my flashlight? Fair and square. 
Wait, is the darkness... Okay, there's something clearly going on. This world is not normal. They're, okay. So are you okay? They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, a thermos. Is this his company and that's how he can make cabins? Because he builds them from scratch? That's actually pretty cool. Wait, do I have to go this way? I'm a little lost. No. Okay. Guess we just have to... He, I don't want to run into him is the thing. You guys are horrifying. Oh. Can I read this? The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it. As if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater. Like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. Willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave. And the light seemed to shine brighter. Uh, we don't have a light. Uh. We don't have a light. I'm a little concerned. Okay, we're, we're fine. I guess we gotta go down here. Nope. That way is that way is death. We're fine. This is fine. Holy shit. My question is, why is he doing this? Is he trying to impress us before he kills us? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Just, just run. Just run to the light. I missed this dialogue. It's mine! I, I did not want that I in my had face. I to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Hmm. And a flashlight. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna just need all of the batteries that I can ever During possibly... your... Crying. It's the latest thing. Incontestably proven health benefits let you kill tumors with one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. I love how his sentences are so distorted. Can I not? Okay, well, I guess I gotta go back to the other side and face him. I wasn't about to open the door, as long oh. as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. <laughs> then we gotta try the back door, right? Are we not gonna- oh, use the phone. Yes. Right fall sheriff station. Oh may I <laughs> Aww. Oh god. Dude, for reals though? This is bad. Oh god, I gotta get out of here. That thing is coming for my ass. Oh, that is not gonna work. Oh god. Wait, wait, we need to we need to get out of here. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please, please. Oh my god. There goes that whole ass hut. Why is he doing this to us? What is happening here? Oh god, don't touch that. I, I didn't realize that that was the fallen light. Focus? The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. No, we clearly saw him running like a little goblin through this fence thing. He's definitely still here. That's unsettling. All right. What is? There were more of them. Oh! <laughs> am I gonna commit murder? I am. My 
head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Okay. Oh. I guess we could have used that too, huh? It's fine. Okay. Let me... Do I have... I have to turn this off. Oh. Okay. That's helpful. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, that... Okay, okay. it's on a timer, I see. I didn't realize that I'd have to be coming through here, but that's nice. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, this is actually horrifying. It's I did see in the settings that there was a, um, a way to turn on and off auto-aim. So if I- the way I'm playing right now is I could just shoot blindly and everybody dies. So I'm just gonna keep it like that because it was default. But I think it's cool that they allow you to choose. Oh my god. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? We're gonna make it out of here alive. I hope. Yeah. When I for saw sure. the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Are you scared of water now because of what happened to your lady? Because we really we went pretty quickly over that, so I think you'll be okay. Just don't look down, right? Am I even going the right way? I'm, yeah, I'm assuming. Oh, we got we're stuck. Okay, we're good. This way. That's the. Oh, manuscript. Five. Oh my God! Did we lose all these pages? I am so sorry. I. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to have skipped. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. This is real life. I mean, as uh, in the game. It's real life in the game. That's where we gotta go. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? Are you shitting me? Oh. I guess we're just gonna have to keep going because I don't really... Maybe over here? I... No, I didn't come through this way. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Maybe he just wants an autograph. Like, if you weren't so moody all the time, maybe you could have just given it to him and he would have left us alone. I'm not judging you for being abrasive. I'm just saying. Sometimes, okay, let me reach this. Sometimes when you're dealing with difficult people, it's, it's, it's hard to say whether you should, oh! It's hard to say whether you should ignore them or if you should just place them. Because they might take advantage of you and your kindness and... Wait, we're back at the logging area? Okay, this, this is making me... Okay, checkpoint! I guess we're supposed to be here, but I'm not happy about it because this place is truly... Uh, a place of nightmares. I have a feeling it's gonna get so much worse than this. Why am I complaining? The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Okay. Here maybe? What is in here? I'm glad that they're keeping us so well stocked. It's very thoughtful. I gotta look out for that. Oh, thermos. I was gonna say, do I have to climb these logs? Because I saw a ladder on the other side, but I don't know how that would connect. 
Oh. There was no power. Ugh. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Well, the one next to it isn't working anymore, so... Oh, wrong button. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. I'm probably gonna have to move this over here in the way so that I can get from one place to another. Oh, there's a generator there. <clears throat> oh, oh, my bad. I should have taken the ladder again. I'm sorry about that. Three. I, I don't like this mechanic at all. This is so scary. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's pretty scary. Holy shit. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, that's I heard good. I them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. That's so scary. And that's what he's experiencing? I actually hate that. Is there anything? Oh, uh, my goodness. My favorite. We only have two bullets, though, so... We're gonna have to rely on our smaller gun for a while. Should probably actually put it away. Okay. It's nice. It's good that the area's been lit up a bit as well now. Easy does it. Easy does it. This is quite... This is not what I was expecting, but I'm loving it so far. I don't know what I was... Yeah, that's the thing, right? I don't do any research. Maybe a little bit. A little bit of research, but... I didn't know that this is what I was signing up for. There's something moving on that log. That should be good. Okay. And I know, I know this episode is running a bit long. I'm looking for a good place to save, but so far I haven't had that opportunity because everything is so ridiculous. Oh God. Oh, it's just a can. It's fine, it's nothing really important. I got excited because I was like, there's maybe something really cool on there, but there isn't anything. Checkpoint reached. This flashlight though, hardcore flashlight. Is that... Okay. Another radio? Okay. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like... The forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's... <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. 
Okay, so we gotta watch out for a puppy dog too? I suppose so. Let's keep going before the music gets us in trouble. Oh, this is just... okay. Oh, manuscript. Okay, let's grab that very quick. Please nobody jump out and spook us. Oh, uh, this At one? At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. I hope that's what's happening, because it'll be actually horrifying if uh, we can't. There it is. I don't understand why he the can sprint. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Like that? Makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is... What was he even talking about? I wish that I could pick this up and put this into his face, but I know that I can't. Oh, I wanted to pick up the stuff, not start the generator, but it's cool. I- oh, there it is. I- th hold on. Safe haven! The flashlight is revealing stuff that would normally be hidden. Okay. We came from that way, okay. I feel like this world is drifting in and out of whatever is happening. <gasps> Whoa! Who did that? Oh, behind! I didn't see the guy behind me. I need the batteries. My goodness gracious. Where did the other guy go? So does the world get all wiggly like this when there's ghosts ready to buy my ass? Cause... That's a good heads up. Easy, easy, easy! I, I guess I should feel okay about killing these guys cause they're not really guys, right? They're just... They're just hallucinations or something? Manuscript? I guess we're safe to read it now, because the this, this stuff has stopped. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. That is pretty bizarre. That is pretty bizarre. Uh, oh my god, where am I going? I guess this way. I kind of got a little turned around, so I hope that we're going the right way. Yeah, I guess... I guess the only blessing that I have is that this seems to be pretty linear so far. So maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we'll be okay. Okay, I think this is probably actually, since we're overlooking here and we just got a checkpoint, this is probably a good place to stop for today. I'm really excited, but I do not want to let my excitement get the better of me. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and throw those babies down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification of when the next episode is out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!